Yes! Yeah. We are live! Hello, everybody! So, uh, hello! <laughs> this Saturday, here with me, La Elena, in San Cassiano, Alta Valbadia. We are here for our holidays, and if you are following our profile, you can see that I'm doing some amazing experience. And the most amazing experience I would like to do with you is cook Kaiser's Magna. And it's not so difficult like spell it. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Kaiser's Magna? Kaiser Schmarne is a dessert that uh, you, we used to eat when we come for holiday in South Tyrol. And South Tyrol is the part of Italy uh, with the border of Austria. And it's um, a special region in Italy and the people speak German and Italian. So wow. here in the region, here in the province where we are, in San Cassiano, Alta Barbadia, people are Ladini. Means that uh, Ladini are uh, people that live in this valley since a long time, and they have some different traditions and culture. Wow. So I'm a little bit afraid, uh, sorry that we cannot cook a Ladino dish because it was a little bit too difficult in this kitchen. But in the next weeks or month, we will try to do it canadianly or another dish that is typical Ladino. Okay? Great. So I forget to introduce myself. I'm Elena. I live in Bergamo. But uh, as I told you, me and Simone, we are here in holiday. And today we are going to cook Kaiserman. Kaiserman. How I how, how say it? Kaiser? Kaiser. Kaiser in a German language. Uh -huh. And now we really need Katrin. So <gasps> Kaiser in a German language means emperor. Uh -huh. and it's Kaiser. So Schmarren means mess, means a mix. And the origin of this dish. Um, one night, the emperor of the Austro-Hungaric uh, blah, 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 asked for a new dish to the chef of the house. But the chef of the house don't want to cook any other dish because he cook every day thousands and thousands of dish for the emperor. So, with no idea, he decided to do this Kaiserschmarrn. And it was so good that the emperor only want to eat this, this dish. So, wow. It could be so good. And I already tasted and I can confirm it's very good. So, Nara, Lydia, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, of course. Well, I'm Nara. I'm here at Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm a visual artist and that loves to cook. Um, right now, I'm really curious about this king's cake because <laughs> I can't say the word in German. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and let's do it. I was uh, I was really missing you guys. I couldn't appear last week because my dog had a little surgery, but right now I'm back. So. Let's do it. And the dog is okay? Yeah, Madalena is just fine. She's really better than us all together. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hello. Madalena. Uh, um, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Livia. I'm from Brazil as well. I'm talking from Belo Horizonte and Minas Gerais. And um, yeah. Um, it seems like a very easy dish to, to prepare with things that usually we have at home. So I'm curious about learning it and maybe it's going to become a special in my kitchen. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. I was, 
it's not king, it's emperor. Sorry. Yeah, emperor's cake. I don't know which camera should I put. So I was changing the camera in order to show you the uh, ingredients okay. we are using to do this uh, Kaisersmarren. So if someone asks uh, what is Kaisersmarren, mm, Volgarius say it's an omelette that you cut in pieces <laughs> and it's done. But, <laughs> but, but we are romantic people and we like uh, to give a feeling to everything we do. So, this is the wonderful ingredients you need to do Kaiserschmarren. Three eggs that I already divided because we don't have the tool to make the white is fluffy. So, we need to do it before. So, three eggs that you should divide it in, in uh, whiteies and yolks. Then, 220 uh, milliliters of milk. That's good. Then we have a flour and we'll use 120 grams of flour, zero, zero. What then we of, have um, salt. How many cups do you say is 120 grams of flour? In this case, I will use one glass of, uh, like the milk. Same measure as milk and, and, um, and flour. Uh, and flour, yes. In mm -hmm. my then, measuring cup, it says one and a half cup of milk and flour. That's uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, so <laughs> one and a half cup of milk and one and a half cup of flour, zero, zero. Then some salt, some sugar, and the king of Kaiserschmarren, Butter. <laughs> wow. Burro di frutta. And this is a butter from uh, Vipiteno, that is another city in South Tyrol. Then, in order to um, make it more sweet your Kaiserschmarren, you can add raisins that are the fruit that in the original recipe they put in two. Even if in the last times I used to uh, eat uh, Kaiserschmarren without raisins. And today I will put also one apple. Great. Okay, so this apple, is... And I also have berries. This is great, Livia. Because a berry you can use for the sauce. It means that uh, when uh, we, we will finish the uh, uh, Kaiserschmarren, in order to serve them, you will use a gem of berries, or in case you don't have a gem of berries, you can use the berries to make a gem, Olivia, right now, while preparing the omelette. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm going to make them now. It's a good idea. And I say these things to you. I add also some berry into the refrigerator. How much sugar so, should we put? Why not taking some? I, I was not thinking to do it because it was another thing on the fire and I but. You inspire me in doing this. So, freezing berry that I will put on the fire with a little bit of water and a little bit of sugar and lemon. Okay? okay. So, in the meanwhile, um, please uh, divide the yolks uh, to the from the whiteies. Okay? While I'm putting the berry jam on the fire. Right? Okay. Thank you. And uh, what about uh, this dish? I mean, have you ever heard about the that dish, uh, Nara Lidia? No. No, no I never heard. heard about it. Do you think it's common? You see in, in Italy in other places. Sorry, what do you ask me? Did, did, did you see it? Um, where did you eat Kaiserschmarrn in your life? Ah, only when I am in holiday in Sud Tyrol. Yeah. 
It's quite a local, interesting um, dish. But you know what is interesting? That uh, it's a dish, that it's a dessert, but interesting. Um, people are eating it like uh, only plate at uh, lunch. I mean, you did a long walk. You need some energy. What are you going to eat? Kaiser Man. Wow. As lunch? Yes, because it's uh, sugar, eggs, milk, and butter. So it's the energy you need to go up. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, up. <laughs> it's the energy to make your body moving. <laughs> So, in the meanwhile, I show you what I'm doing with the, um, with the um, berries, so easier also for you to understand what I'm doing. Not easy today, but as you, I told you, I'm not in my kitchen, so I put on the fire the uh, berry, the freeze, the freeze berry, and now I will, I will add a little bit of water. And a generous amount of uh, um, zucchero. Okay. And we let it cool for a little bit at a fire that it's quite uh, strong. So, the, uh, Livia, uh, are you preparing also the uh, berry jam? Yes, uh, um, I have some uh, frozen raspberries and blackberries. Uh, That's good. So I'm, I'm making, I'm not making a lot because it's only me and I, I prefer to make them fresh because they're warm. So they okay. are in the fire now. Um, with a little bit, I didn't put so much sugar because I like I. I they, they, it's good that they're not so sweet. Because you like the the the, the how do you say sour. amaro? Sour. The sour. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put a little bit of dates in mine because I had here. Okay, that's good. And okay. I and I have and I have like three kinds of berry jam already made here. So mirtillo, berries. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I don't want to buy um, a jam in the supermarket. So I say, okay, let's buy some berry and do it. Oh, you have a marine! Yes, I do. And I'm going to eat with a marine. I was saving it for something special. So I think this is the occasion. <laughs> so I'm going to do this uh, egg tiramisu with berry. Mm, yeah. So... Are you are you ready to start um, making the mixture for our fantastic um, Kaiser's Maren? Yes. So yes, let's do it. I was checking the berry syrup or jam because I don't want that it at some point. So Let's start with the um, three um, yolks you already divided and start adding one cup and a half of flour. Slowly, slowly. I mean, let's try to understand how much flour you can put into the mix, into the yolks without uh, make a big mess, I mean. It's important that you understand how many um, liquid need the, the mixture, okay? So, I will use that 
easy to so mix. it's uh, Elena 120 milliliters of, of milk and 220 milliliters oh, okay so yolks flour and then slowly the milk yes exactly so I have flour milk and my yolks already divided here I will start putting a little bit a little bit of flour into the, the yolks and if you you can see it you don't need to put all the quantity in one time because you need to mix the flour in a right way also because it could be possible that you don't need all the quantity of flour i say to you because maybe your yolks are not so um don't have such a lot of water so maybe it's not so this is la how it looks can you see it so i'm adding a little bit a little bit a little bit now i add a little bit of milk in order to make it more liquid and go how is it your mixture um, nara and livia is it uh, slowly slowly melting mm. can you see my one in order to make you understand how slowly i'm adding the quantity of the flour and uh, uh, milk maybe it's easier if i use that camera wait change camera okay so can you see the, the, the density of my yolks we yeah, the... really, really creamy so i add a little bit more of flour a little bit little bit can you see the amount that i'm adding every time mm -hmm. so slowly slowly in order to melt the flour in a right way because the only error we can make in this recipe is not to melt the flour in the right way because if you don't cook right the flour the taste is not so good so slowly slowly now a little bit of milk so slowly slowly milk flour flour milk i think that in this dish the only things you need is passion passion to do something that you will eat later because it's not a, a difficult recipe but you need to take the time to understand that you are doing a thing with love too much i have to make mine again because i mixed all the flour i did everything and wrong let me let me see let me see livia maybe maybe uh, uh, okay don't don't throw all the thing wait can I get when I change can you show me? I will make a pancake later with the with, with the batter. It's not good. Are you sure? Because in sure. case with the milk we can work the, the mixture. Huh? Don't worry. We I, I would say that we can try to save it. Would you like to do it or not? Yes, I would like to do it. I prefer not. I prefer to save it if possible. So my suggestion is uh, the the milk. You didn't add the milk. You add only flour, right? No, no, no. I added the milk. And how many milk you add more? I put the I put everything together. I put did everything wrong. Okay, but can you melt it or not at all? No, I'm, I'm going to use this uh, fouet. Okay. Try to, to, to take the, the uh, to separate the balls of uh, flour. Is it okay. okay? Yes. Yeah? Okay. 
so slowly, slowly, slowly. And Nara, how is it going with yours one? So <laughs> I, wa yeah. I was not so uh, a good uh, guy that this, this time, girls, but let me know. Nara, how, how is it your, your um, mixture doing? I muted myself because of the noise. Uh, let me try to show. Can you see? Well, uh, I'm changing the camera so I can see it. Yes, this is great. Yes, yes, this is exactly what we need. I oh. mean, uh, it, uh, yes. So I, I didn't use all the milk. I use it only part of it. Yes, this is so good. And uh, it's because uh, maybe you don't need the total amount of the ingredients. So I just add yeah. um, all the amount of flour right now. And I will see at the end if the mixture needs a little bit of milk more in order to make it fluffy. Because Catherine told us that the secrets to have a Kaiser's Marna is the fluffiest. So we need to work on these fluffy, fluffy things. And so, also the sparkling water. She said that it's good to use sparkling water. Yes, at the end of the uh, at the end of the mixture, um, Catherine suggests to add a little bit of sparkling water in order to make it sparkling. So yes, I'm gonna use it. Lena, how about the salt? Where should we put it already? Sorry, Livia, uh, Nara. Should we put the uh, salt? No, I just put eggs, uh, yolks, flour. Yeah, yeah. And, and now after we, um, we think that the texture is okay. And when I say we think that the texture is okay means that you have to consider that we need to put the whiteies. So we need a mixture that is not too much liquid because the liquid will come later with the whiteies, okay? okay? So can you have a look at my one? Yeah. I think my one need a little bit, but really a little bit of flour more. But only a little bit. So, <laughs> ad occhio, that it's what I'm doing every time I'm cooking, I'm adding a little bit of flour more in order to have a mixture that is uh, not so liquid, okay? okay? Can you see mine? Mine is like this. Wow! That means, that, that's great, Livia. It's good? Yes, because we need a uh, texture that it's, uh, I mean, I will say to you, add a spoon of flour more. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. I was uh, forget. <laughs> I was forgetting the, the berry syrup. Luckily, the berry is a perfume, so I... <laughs> Crazy, I just, okay. I just, I just turned off mine as well. Um, then you add the, the lime in the end, right? Yes, exactly. To maintain the... Um, yes, to maintain the taste uh, and give a little bit of acidity, but only at the, at the end, without cooking. So, this is my mixture, and I'm going to okay, put the so light on because it's a little bit too dark. So, what we are going to do, we are going to add a little bit of salt and sugar. Keep in mind that uh, Kaiser's Maren are not sweet, too much sweet. Kaiser's Maren are... Um, a perfect balance between sweet and salty. This is what Frau Carmen tell me today while trying to get some infos about the Kaiser's market. So, 
Who what is, is Frau, Frau Carmen? Frau Carmen. Frau Carmen. So, a little stop for Frau Carmen because Frau Carmen, after four days, asking to the people if 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 they can give me some suggestion for Kaiser's Maren, she was the only one that want to say to me the secret. So. Big applause for Frau Carmen that works at a Refugio Scottoni. Thanks, Frau Carmen. Thank you, Frau Carmen. Grazie. Grazie. She said to me, yes, we, we were there for lunch today after the long walk. And at the, the end, I asked her, what about Kaiser Schmarren? And she said to me, one big secret I will tell you later. And it's a perfect balance between sugar and salt. So now we are at the point uh, one of our recipe. Perfect balance between salt and sugar. Are so we ready? We the salt? Because we need to add salt and sugar to our uh, mixture of yolks and uh, flour and milk. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, sugar and mm, sugar and salt. Just a minute. How much uh, sugar? <laughs> Livia, when Frau Carmen say the perfect. Eh? means that the only the brave the brave can understand what does it mean the perfect balance oh my god so we had a we had a, we have a um instrument that is our um way way to escape from this problem the taste we can taste the things girls yeah why not using the mouth yes so I will start with a, a uh, how do you say, un pizzico, pinch. a pinch, a pinch. Eh? So I will start with a pinch of salt, okay, yeah. and a pinch of white sugar. Then I will start melt and with a small spoon start tasting and understand if the balance if we reach the balance. What do you think? Okay. I put I put uh, two spoons of sugar and one big pinch of salt and I think it's good for me. I was tasting my one, and I'm sure uh, this is the perfect, for my one, it's the perfect melting. One pinch of uh, sh uh, sugar and one pinch of salt. So, my suggestion is to taste things in order to understand which is your palate, what, you, what your palate like, right? That's good. So, while tasting your mixture, did you feel something that you don't like like uh, a too much taste of flour too much taste of milk too much taste of something too much taste of flour for me yeah me too okay so what should, what can we do in this case i mean you you can feel the texture of the flour in your mouth no no, but you, you only feel the taste, so you don't feel the texture of the flour. No, no, no texture. Okay, this is good because if you feel the texture of the flowers, means that the flour is too much, and you need to liquefy it. If you feel the texture on your uh, tongue, okay. If you just feel the the um, the taste of the flour means okay there is taste e e flour in case you don't like the taste of flour so heavy you can add vanilla 
Or a little bit of milk. But as I told you, we are I going was, to. I was thinking about vanilla. I'm gonna use it. This is a good idea, Lydia. Vanilla is a good idea. So what uh, you can also do that thing, uh, ladies. You can also you, you we are going to cook uh, the mixture in two parts because we don't want to have a too big omelet, but we want to have a pieces uh, a big piece that we can cut. So okay. second suggestion: start with the first, cook it. If you if you feel that it, it need a little bit of more sugar. On the second time, you will add it to the mixture, okay? Okay. So, we are ready, if you are ready, to add the whiteies into the yolk. Ah, I have to beat the whites. I have to beat the whites. Okay, don't worry. Take your time to beat the white. And um, we will uh, take uh, the pen to start making the... Kaiser Maven, okay? So, I will use this paint because I was so clever before when I decided to cook the berries that I used the big one for the berries and not the small one. But it's not a problem. I will use the small one and cook in two or three times, okay? So what we need for the second step of our recipe in order to resume a little bit is a generous amount of butter. <laughs> Put butter on it. Unfortunately, Shafaki is not with us. She will be the queen of uh, butter. Yeah, she is. <laughs> then we will use white sugar or brown sugar, it depends which, which taste you want to give uh, to Kaiser's Okay. Then I will cut my apple, the apple, for the um, Kaiser's Maren and uh, raisins. And uh, what else? Nothing else. So repeat. Butter, sugar, apple, raisins, and the mixture we already prepared. That's yeah. good. Do you think we could put nuts on it? I mean, this is a good, good, good uh, idea, Nara. I mean, never think about it, but it's a super idea. I mean, at the crunchy, of no. the nuts in the middle of the Kaiser's Maren. Ooh, it, it, it gives a special taste. No. I would love it. Maybe not a, a, a big amount. Yeah, but just a little yes, bit. Why not? Just some small bits of walnut or, or cashew nut, or walnut, maybe. I will use uh, for a second, uh, mm, I mean, I will do the first, the first one uh, in uh, the original way. Yeah, then yeah. I want to do the second round with uh, something special. And I think I'm going to use nochi. Yes, walnuts. Yes. That's so good. I have walnuts as well. I'm gonna use them. I don't know. I, I mean, it was a great idea, in my opinion. The one of uh, Nara say, "Do it's crunchy. It's uh, different. It's it's great." <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Am I pushing you too much? Huh? No, we are not. <laughs> So I was trying to put uh, the cap. Ah, what a great idea. Can I put it? No. I was, sorry, girls. I was trying to put the camera in a way that you can see what's going on in the kitchen. Guys, I have to go down to collect something that arrived to me. Um, I'll see you later, okay? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll be right here. Yes, yes. 
Changing the camera. Okay. Hello, Elena. Yes, so sorry, so sorry. I was trying to put... No, this no, in. don't say you're sorry. That everything is okay. You're not in your kitchen. Everything is okay. Actually, I really would like to thank you for you, for this effort during your holiday. That's like amazing. Thank you. Thank you. But it was, you know, girls, it's such a pleasure for me to spend the time with you cooking that I really want to do it. Yeah, I love it also. I missed it last week, but I, I just couldn't got in. <laughs> Look all this, these beers. <laughs> Yes, it's not the perfect, uh, yes, because I want, <laughs> but I can make it. I can make it. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's great there. That's really good. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, stop it. So, uh, did uh, shall we wait for uh, uh, Livia? She just it's, went, uh, yeah, she just went. Uh, downstairs to get something at her door and she will okay. be right back so i think we can wait a little bit yes it, this her. is okay it's okay for me to wait a little bit so we can uh, say to everybody what we are doing again and maybe asking people to join us on the profile of saturday food fever on instagram yeah. i i i will catch my phone so it's so nice because uh, we like to post uh, things that we are doing, not only cooking and not only about food. And uh, you can see all the recipe we did on our YouTube channel. So we would be so happy if in case you want to join live one Saturday as cooking and maybe why not asking us to cook your recipe. This could be a great idea. So why don't you join us and give us some suggestion for our new recipe from another part of the world? Let's yeah. do it. I just recorded you and put on Instagram. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so probably I'm going to my great aunt house. So I will record um, she teaching me how to do some recipe, some family Good. recipe. Because all, actually, almost all the recipes that we did together since we started are from the family book. And she now is the matrona from our yeah. family. She knows all the secrets. She is 93 years old but she has like this great mind she has a great memory and so probably during this week i'm going to her house to record some recipe i don't i i still don't know what it is it will be something simple and easy because although she's great she can do anything complicated because well 93 years old right guys so but she will give me the directions and we will do together but unfortunately it won't be able to be live but i think it will be really a really great time with her but it's okay even if not live it's a great uh, things we can uh, sh you can share with us so this is a great thing, uh, Nara. And thanks uh, to arrange everything with your mom uh, in order to not cause any stress yeah. to your own tea. And I'm thanks really that excited. we are keeping the tradition on. I'm super yeah. excited to know your aunt grandmother. Really, really, yeah. really excited to I, I'm, I'm also her. excited. We didn't tell her yet because we don't want her to get anxious. So she only discovered on the day <laughs> when I arrived there <laughs> that we are going to do that. Sure. Because in any other way, if you say it and... For some unfortunate event, we can make it. I can make it there, or I don't know. She will be too anxious. So I'm 
only going to say when I get there, probably on Friday, I'm going to go there. That's so good. That's so good, girls. Thank you, Nara. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Me too. Me too. I'm so excited to see the recipe, to see you and your family doing it, uh, to have the chance to share with us this. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh, and I just can hide it. I think I'm losing control, but I think oh. I like it. I like it. I'm so excited. And I just go. Okay, sorry. Not say sorry for singing. There is a motorbike, a big motorbike with a big motor rider outside of my window. Wow. <laughs> He's watching you cook. Don't know. I'm wearing a, a, a sexy. Well, too big. You should see them. Wait a minute. Too big, too big, too big, too big. Let me show you, these are the men from uh, Alta Valdivia. Wow! <laughs> Hello. Hello, bikers. Okay, from the bikers to the Kaiser Baron. And what a beautiful landscape, right? So, back, back, back. We are back with the kitchen. What I did while uh, Livia was out and Nara was uh, telling about this beautiful thing she is going to do on Friday and she will sh share with us, I was cutting the apple, one apple, in order to start with the um, step number two. Okay, so I have, I have, uh, um... I have the, the 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 mixture with the egg whites, the uh, and the yolks with the sugar and the everything. Did you already add the yolk, the whites to the yolks, Livia? Sorry, I thought you added when I was out, so I just added them. And it's, yeah, like it's okay. It's okay. I will I will melt them. Nara, did you melt the whites with the yolks already? Not yet. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit of, of flour and adding the... Adding the white is to the yolks. Slowly or everything, uh, everything at once? Okay. I'm adding everything together because it's... Uh, yes. A big amount, but not so big. I mean, I'm adding, uh, and also because Simone, um, so we did we didn't do it mechanically with the tool. So my whiteies are not so fluffy like yours one, because we didn't have the tool to um, to beat them. It is fierce. <laughs> yes. So this is my mixture. I will show you in one second. This is uh, the mixture after we add the um, white is into the yolks. Can you see? So it's quite liquid, but not so much. Sorry, I, I'm trying to change the camera. Yeah. It's very creamy. It's a texture. Just it 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 feels like the tiramisu texture, but of course it's different ingredients. But it's quite creamy, like the tiramisu mix. Yes. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, it's the same uh, I mean feeling it's it's so um, it's not too liquid and not too solid it's great I think and yours one is also good girls so I'm now, glad I didn't turn off the turn off the, the, the food because I thought I had ruined it but it's perfect 
What what are you telling, Livia? Sorry, I didn't understand. Because I, I thought I should uh, throw it out because I mixed the, uh, the the flour in the wrong way in the beginning, but it turned out really well. It's I'm glad we could save it. That's why I say never give up when uh, it looks like uh, the, the ingredients you added uh, are not well mixed. Give a second chance to food uh, to make you happy. It would be a, a nice experience. So, I will put uh, the pan on the fire because I'm using um, fuoco induzione. I don't know. I don't know you, but I don't like this kind of fire. I don't never, like it at all. Never cooked with induction. I don't. I mean, it's not fire. It's not the warming the things in the same way. Yeah, I never tried, so I can't give an opinion. But I like my my stove, <laughs> my fire stove. It's very strange because you cannot feel the heat, so not easy. I mean, you cannot feel the heat of what you are cooking. It's a little yeah. bit strange. Yeah, I, I really, really think it will be strange to not feel the heat. So strange. I mean, not, 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 not. If you, I'm not I'm, at home. I'm not having the this kind of fire. So for me, it's a little bit difficult to cook. But we are going to do it. Yeah. Yes, we are going to do it. So, so now you have the, the sugar and the butter, right? Yes, now we are going to put sugar and butter into the pan Together. in order to have uh, the uh, ground where we are going to put uh, the fruit uh, to in, in order to caramelize it. Okay, so Half of the amount of the butter. Take the butter. I'm taking the butter. Sorry, wait. How much butter? So the, the receipt say 30 grams. Okay. But as we said before, uh, um, Carmen said that we must be generous with butter. So let's start with 30, uh, with 20 grams for the first, uh, um, first one. And uh, uh, let's add the 20 for the second, okay? Okay. And how much sugar? <laughs> um, this is uh, at, uh, at, uh, at eyes, at eyes, I mean. Uh, she didn't say to me how many how much sugar. It was uh, the secret of the balance. Okay. So I added equal parts of like uh, one and a half spoon of butter and one spoon of sugar. Okay, so one spoon of butter and one big spoon of butter and one uh, medium spoon of uh, sugar. Okay. Do you think okay. Should I add more butter or more sugar? I think we are going to see it uh, when we are going to, to put the butter into the pan. I mean, I didn't put the butter already. Uh, did you already put the butter into the pan? Yeah. No. I didn't do it already. Uh, girls, sorry, I'm in late. So, butter. I don't uh, wait anything. So, I know that is 250 grams. So, I need to put ten, one part of this and I take that one. So, I'm putting without uh, um, waiting. Yes, exactly. And I putting, I show you now with the camera, and I'm putting also sugar without waiting it. Okay? So, can you see it? I already put butter, and sugar, I used the brown, I decided to use the brown one 
in order to give a special taste to the Kaiser Maran, okay? Mm. Can you see it? It's okay. Is it yours one caramelizing like this one? Not yet. Uh, I'm using low fire. Should I use high fire? Okay, better not to put the fire too, too high because we don't want to burn the butter. Because when you burn the butter, the butter has a very not good taste. So, not burn the butter, but in case, keep the fire a little bit um, less than what you are thinking. So, this is how it looks. Can you see it? It's, it's, it's not perfectly melted because the sugar I'm using, it's a little bit big pieces, not pieces, but... It's not so refined, but it looks like that. What do you think with yours one? Mine is like this. There is kind of divided between the butter and the part that is the sugar is, is melting. Yeah, me too. But divided, what you mean, Livia? You mean that like my one, you can see the butter and then you see the, the sugar? Yes. Yeah, they don't mix everything. They don't mix really well. Right? Yes. And what about yeah. the fire? Is it the fire at minimum? Is it the, is it the fire mm -hmm. at a medium or high level now? Medium. So let's try to put the fire a little bit up. A little bit. I mean, always smelling and understanding if the butter is uh, burning. Okay, and. Uh, Try to see if the butter melted, uh, the sugar melt a little bit more. But in case, no problem. No. What? Now it's melting together. It's getting together and it looks like a caramel. That's good. That's what we are looking for. So now that your sugar is perfectly caramelized with the... Um, with what? Sugar and butter. Let's start add the fruit, okay? So what you decided, sorry, this is the raisin. I'm uh, taking off uh, the water. So raisin, and I will start putting raisin. Can you see them? Yes. I put it my eggs. Okay. Wow, it's beautiful. I didn't take any pictures, but this deserves. I, 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 oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay. So, in the meanwhile, I forget to cut the apple in small pieces. No, merda. <laughs> I love Sorry, you, Bella. <laughs> I don't want to be not polite, unpolite, but it was a big. Ah, I lost the, the camera, but don't worry, don't worry. We are back with the camera. So cut the, so the apple cut in small pieces. The apple you are in small pieces. pieces apple. If you are using also apple. Yes. Turn Take the phone I'm and coming back. Phone. It was the nightmare of the microphone. Okay. So, as I was saying to you, I need to cut the apples in small pieces. So, one second. And I will put small pieces of apple. I will change also the camera easier for you. So, I will cut these 
apple in small pieces that can be caramelized with the raisin, the butter, and the sugar. So, so you turned off the heat while you're doing this? I yes, because I didn't cut the apple before, so I need the time to cut them without burning the raisin. Okay. So can you have a look at that? I'm adding a little bit of apple to the raisins and to the sugar. Next time you want to prepare, cut the apple before because this is not a good idea what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> okay. So, you got it? And this is... what you can see. So, Nara, what are you using as a fruit for this recipe? Dates. Good. Fried dates. But it melted and became a big caramel with the sugar. <laughs> so, so, it became uh, hard, Nara? What? It's your cam caramel becoming hard? Yes, it is. Because of the sugar on the dates, it became... Okay, like don't worry. Add a little bit, little, little bit of water. Little, little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, my, my mixture is quite ready to receive uh, the mixture of rose and flour and everything. And I should to do it because if I'm not doing it, my caramel will become too, too hard, okay? So, what I'm going to do is to add... Oh, che cappero! Simo, I need a help from the background lady. Simo? When you need them, they are not around. When you don't need them, they are always around you. It's incredible. Elena, what about the sparkling water? Yes, it's true. We, I was forgetting about um, um, Catherine's suggestion. Sorry. Um, Catherine suggested to put a little bit of sparkling water into the mixer in order to make it fluffy. Wow, okay. I just said the sparkling water and it looks really interesting. How much you put it? I will put only like a spoon. A big spoon, yes. A big spoon and uh, ladies remember to remove the pan from the fire if you yeah. are not putting the uh, the mixer in one second because if not burning wow so we add the, the um, sparkling water to the mixture and we are ready to put the mixture into the pan with our raisin and apple okay so put the fire a little bit more on and start when the, the fire is hot to put the mix half of the mixture we did into the pan okay just put it on the mixture on the pan yes exactly Oops. So, okay, and okay, so wow. And I'm ready to do it. I need. <laughs> it looks 
so beautiful. Seriously, really beautiful. Are you speaking about the mixture, Olivia? When I just add it to the pan, okay, um, the caramel is um, burning in the middle of the, the pancake. Okay, so you add all the amount or did you add half the amount? Half oh. the amount. That's good. That's good. I didn't know if I tell you to add only half the amount of uh, uh, the mixture. Okay, I'm yeah. adding my one. You said that uh, we should do two and then we put in the platter. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I want to do. It. Yes, so mix a little bit the things in order to, 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 co to cover it. So, yes, when it starts, uh... Simone, mi daresti una mano? Mi serve che mi inquadri qua. When it starts to what? You should cover it so it can cook, uh, um, the, the pork okay. can cook. Okay, low so fire. when it starts... Uh... Low fire, I put low fire. Because otherwise the caramel will burn. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So, can you see it? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, can party. Okay, we did it. We did it. Don't worry. No. I'm changing the camera. Good. Is it yours one looking like that one? I did not mix it. Should I mix it? No, I mix it because I want that the... the, the um, that the raisins went uh, all over the um, the the Kaisersmarren. I try to show mine. Should I mix mine as well? This is mine. Wow! Yeah, mine is just like Nella. Wow! But the middle is still not cooked. Now so with the cover. The I put the pan on for a little bit, only a few minutes, in order to cook it a little bit more. And I didn't do a, a good um, things when I decided to mix it. Because, uh, no, yes. Because, uh, I mean, the second one uh, will be for sure better than the first one. <laughs> okay. But we are all learning together, so that's okay. Why am I the first camera that wants to be the first? Because we missed one camera. I don't know why, but we missed one camera. Maybe the best don't worry, just don't worry. No, 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 I'm not worried. I, we can do it, don't worry. It's okay. So change this camera, don't worry. Non ci siamo più con Thank you, Simone, for helping. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> so, when should I start cutting it? When you should... Uh, maybe, maybe next time. Yes. When we have a good connection, a, a big uh, kitchen. <laughs> so is it your one uh, quite done or it needed to be cooked more? My, the middle of mine is still is still not cooked. Quality? I, let me see. I don't know. But it's quite yeah, almost. It's almost. Yes. Quite done. I'm I'm a little worried about the caramel. So you can and, take uh, do you think you can turn it, or you don't need you don't need to turn them? To turn it. 
like I mean, you don't need to turn them not because you already seen that it's cooked. Ah, uh, yes, it's cooked. It would be good if I could turn it, but I don't think I can turn it without um, ruining it. Because it's completely, perfectly round. It's so beautiful. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Okay. So, my one is so, so not good looking. <laughs> it's one of the best thing, of the worst thing that I ever cook. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it in order to make something more uh, nicer, but let's see. It's the emperor's mess. So you're doing it's it. It's the big emperor mess. Yeah, I need to take off the heat because it will burn if I let it there. Okay, so it's not exactly what I wanted to do. So in the next one, I will do so my not best a, to do it. Not a put but it it's in what, a this is what uh, it's looking like. What? I think we should put yours in the plate. Take it out of the pan. Yeah, then take it out. Take it out. I think we should turn off the, the, the sound, Elena. On. Yeah, I think it's good now. Yes. So. <laughs> sorry, Elena, but yours looks. I, I'm sorry. The next one will be better. I burned my caramel. <laughs> so <laughs> Merda. I turned off the heat of mine, and I and, and and I'm still letting it cook with the lid closed. So it cooks in on the top because it looks so so beautiful. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I know it's called Kaiser Schmarren, but I don't want to make a Schmarren. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Really, look. It is. It's really beautiful, Olivia. Wow. And I think now it's done in the middle. Yeah. It's super extra fluffy. Do you think Elena uh, lost the connection? I don't know because she's still there with one camera. I'm going to try the second one because the first one didn't went really well. Wow. Mine is really awesome. Wow. Um, on the second one, I'm going to try with the walnuts. I actually don't have walnuts, but I have cashew nuts already caramelized. So I'm going to mix it um, and reheat the, the caramelized. Wow, wow. So I'm going to try the second one now. Let's see. For sure it will be better because now we know how to what to do. Yeah, the second is always better. Mm.
I don't have the courage to to cut mine into pieces because it's so <laughs> You can eat it like whole, the whole thing, but I think that's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put the berries on top. I don't even think they need the berries. Wow, but the second one now I'm 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 putting really low fire. Yeah. And adding butter to the caramelized um, cashew nuts I already had. And the um, apples. Mm. And you? I'm actually trying to put the butter with the sugar again, but in a really, really slow fire and mixing it the whole time because I didn't mix it the whole time, the last time. Mm -hmm. together. Elena, no sound on. Elena, your sound is off. Hello. Okay, so mine is kind of like this. It's already a caramel with the nuts. Um, I have cashew nuts and also um, sesame seeds that were because I had cashew nuts caramelized with ses sesame seeds. Mm. Yeah, it's super good. I buy it um, at the zero garbage, um, Lito Zero, Zero Trash, at an association in my neighborhood. So they had this really beautiful cashew nuts caramelized already. And I mixed it with the rest of the apples from the first, like I took half the apple the other time. But I think it's better if I have a huge, because I had less apples. In, in the trade the last time, and I think a full over of apples would be really, really delicious. So I'm going to put this, and now I'm going to add the batter, the remaining batter from that I didn't use in the first pancake. Maybe I'll have batter for more too, I don't know, because it seems like a lot. I'm just adding the batter in mine. I mix it everything together for in the low fire and I didn't and I kept mixing it and and I didn't wait to the to the sugar to get too brown. Mm -hmm. And now let's see how it goes, why we, it will cook. I think it will be better because then it won't burn like the first one. <laughs> yeah. And low fire, it's low fire. Yeah, it's on the low, lowest fire. On mine, sometimes I turned off the fire and then I, I turned it on again to make sure that um, I didn't burn. Show. Elena, we can't hear you. Uh, I think she, she thinks that we can hear she, we can hear her, but we can't hear her. I, I see her camera. This is my second Okay, one. yes, sorry. I was speaking with myself. Yes, I was like, I Elena, was saying no. that your suggestion. Look at mine, Elena. Teacher. Wow, so beautiful! <laughs> Lisa. Yeah, I'm like, whoa! But the apples came to only one side. The other side is there's less apples. <laughs> so this wow, is this, this is amazing. Is I won't show my first so, one because the 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 the, the idea of the Kaiser's Marren is to cut that marvelous omelet. But if you don't want to do it and just uh, put the berry cream or the powder, the sugar, feel free to do it. I mean, it's not that the case to broken that jewel. Yeah, I don't want to cut it because it looks so beautiful already. I don't want to cut it. 
it it was a well, it's a, it was the same that I was uh, suggesting to you. So even if the Kaiser's Marin are cutted, doesn't matter. It looks so nice that you need to cut them. Yeah. And it's true. Um, cook them with a low fire instead of a high fire helps you in uh, giving the fluffy texture. It's true, it's true. So I'm how really is it looking? Better. I think I have better yes, for this time it's one much one more better. A smaller one. I still have better for um, a third. Wow. It's going to be a smaller one, but um, yeah, I think... I'm gonna make it only with the berries. Mm. Yeah, the second one won't have anything on it because the my dates like melted with the caramel and became like a uh, one thing on the first. Didn't work really well, so don't use dates. <laughs> yeah, dates are too sweet. Maybe you could replace the dates um, with the sugar. And you are not together like the raisins or yeah, the like I, went to, the dry I went to the market the like just before we met and they didn't have raisins. So next time I will buy it. That's okay. I also put a little bit of cinnamon in the in the oh. apples. Wow. I always always the, the apples always taste good with the cinnamon. That's true. Mmm, is yours ready, Elena? No, this is the first. That is the... Um, il brutto. <laughs> it's rustic. So not the nice one. But it's so nice at, at, at the palate, at the taste. So even if it's not nice looking, I shall admit that I shall eat it with some powder and the sugar and some uh, berry jam. Even if uh, the second one is really so nice. It's so fluffy, so fluffy. Yeah, the second one is becoming really, really better. Really mm. better. Mm. Wow. I understand the Kaiser. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. My connection is very, very bad, girls. No That's problem. Great. Everything is going just fine. Now we know what to do. <laughs> Really, it's so delicious, so delicious. If I can turn it. It's so delicious. The taste is amazing. I mean, uh, it's uh, really, really, really tasteful. I mean, um, great. Even if I must expertise a little bit with that, this recipe. And I think also that the pan is very important. I mean... The recipes say that it, mm, bigger the pan is eh, and easier is to make it because maybe you can decide it how I or how much. Yeah, now the second one is really looking great. Mm. Mm -hmm. Elena. I want to eat this for dinner. She froze it. Um, Kaiser Schmachen could be known in the whole world. Yes. Mm. Now we are trying, starting to to do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really I, good. I turn it mine. Yeah. Yeah, so it will cook on the other side. Mm. Look. Mm. Wow, you could turn it. 
Yeah, I did turn it. Like a pro. Yeah. My so, cook without turning. It's completely cooked, my second one. This is number one. <laughs> Four things. And this is number two. Nice. Mm. I want to eat because I'm listening to Olivia. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this dough is so easy. You can just put anything you want to caramelize on, on, on the bottom. Yeah, like bananas, but not like in cooker. Yeah. I think or, you can also do with banana. What about banana? Yeah, yeah. like the cooker. Yeah, so let me take out my second one. Whoa! Get ready. So wow, your one is also amazing. This is my second one. So, the first one I'm not going to show. Now I'm going to put some jam. Meat, kilo jam. Berry jam. So berry jam, berry jam, berry jam. My berry jam? Mirtilo mm. berry and amarina. Oh my god! So I'm putting the jam into a bowl. Look, my second one with the uh, caramelized um, cashew nuts and apple. Whoa. Mmm. Not very jam mm -hmm. and the powdered sugar. So now I'm going to eat. Mm. I know I and think it's all powdered, but sugar. maybe some hikata would go well also. But it's because I love cheese, so I would put cheese on everything. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Is it good? Eh? Yes, it is. So these mm. these are the 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 the, the, the bad and the cute. <laughs> Look at this. It's is it good? Is it good, ladies? Yes. Mm. I'm taking a little bit of them. Mm. Yum. Me. Mm. Mm. Elena, thank you so much for this recipe. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lady, it's so good. It's so good. Even if uh, it's not like I was wondering for the forms and the... But it's, it's, it's so good. Very good. I love to, eat, to cook it um, with you girls. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Say goodbye. And um, so let's let's do it at home. 
I encourage yourself to do it at home. It's not dangerous. It's not. It's delicious. Not at all. Mm. Maybe only for your belly, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so see you next Saturday. See you then. See um, you, maybe. Thank you so much. See you next week. Um, we don't know who is cooking yet, but we will let you know in the Instagram and also here on YouTube. See you next week. Yes, see you next Saturday. <laughs>